questions for reflection. Our first reading is taken from the first book of Samuel. It tells of the courageous action of David in slaying Goliath. In spite of his youth and his small stature, he had powerful faith. He said to Saul, the Lord who delivered me from the claws of the lion and bear will keep me safe from the clutches of this Philistine. And the Lord did. Armed with only a slingshot and five smooth stones, David toppled the mammoth warrior. He shouted at his adversary, you come against me with sword and spear and scimitar, but I come against you in the name of the Lord of hosts. Catholic teaching reminds us there are two senses of scripture, the literal and the spiritual. And that's in paragraph 115 of the Catholic Catechism. First in importance is the literal. This is a literal story, a real event which shows what God can do when a man like David steps forward in living faith when physically confronted. But there's also the spiritual sense. The story speaks to each one of us. It can remind us that we are engaged in spiritual warfare against the world, the flesh, and the devil. We need to be prepared and trust that the Lord is with us as well. How are we doing? Our responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm 144. Written by David, it also affirms his strong faith. And when we recite it, it can help us to rise up to the challenges we face in our own spiritual struggles. The Lord is our rock. And when we stand firm in him, we will not falter. In the gospel passage from St. Mark, Jesus, the one sent from the Father to defeat the devil, heals a man with a withered hand, a wonderful sign that in him, the kingdom of God was breaking through. But not everyone in the temple that day saw it that way. Some Pharisees, the scripture tells us, watched Jesus closely to see whether he healed on the Sabbath so they could accuse him. The Pharisees were a genuine religious reform movement which sought to bring faithful Jews back to living the fullness of the law of Moses in order to witness to the truth. However, the ones who the evangelist who penned the four gospels used to communicate a danger which can afflict all of us, those are the ones who were blinded by their own self-righteousness. They succumbed to the sin of spiritual pride. Jesus looked at them with anger and grieved. We need to regularly examine ourselves and avoid the same danger.